A possible NSYNC VMA reunion has millennials losing it online. Cardi B wants to collab with a legend, Maluma catches a crutch on stage, and Renee Rapp reveals what's on her playlist. Welcome back to Billboard News. It's Tuesday, September 12th. I'm Rania Niftos in for Tetris because he's on his way to New York City chasing a certain rumor about an NSYNC reunion. The boys of NSYNC have been spotted in New York City and it has fans speculating that they may reunite for the VMAs. Here's what we know. NSYNC first performed at the VMAs in 1999 with the help of Britney Spears, and the last time Justin Timberlake, JC Chauze, Lance Bass, Joey Fatone, and Chris Kirkpatrick all performed together was at the 2013 VMAs. So, with most of the boy band members being seen around the Big Apple, fans think that the VMAs would be the perfect setting for the group to reunite. Justin posted pics from the Museum of Modern Art, Lance had a dinner with a friend in Manhattan, Joey was spotted by fans in the streets, and JC's manager posted a pic of him on a private plane. That just leaves Chris. Has anyone seen him around the tri-state area? It's been rumored that NSYNC recorded new music for Justin's movie Trolls Band Together, the third installment of the franchise where his character reunites with his childhood boy band. Not in sync. We've gone from boys to men, and now there's only one direction for us to go. The back street. And the promo even features music from in sync. Fans have been begging for a full reunion after the band, minus JT, joined Ariana Grande on stage at Coachella in 2019. So at this point, we'll take anything we can get. On to someone who's definitely performing at the VMAs tonight, Cardi B. She was on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live, and you know that it was entertaining. In a 2017 interview with Billboard magazine, you admitted that a lot of designers refused to work with you, so you decided to purchase their clothing until they realized what a fashion icon you were. What is one designer that refused to work with you that then came crawling back years later? I pleased the fear. I had a feeling. <laughs> Cardi B stopped by Watch What Happens Live on Monday night ahead of her VMA performance to chat it up with Andy Cohen. During the call-in segment, a fan asked if Cardi will finally collab with her hero Lil' Kim on her upcoming sophomore album, to which the rapper said, I want to make sure that it's like the greatest song, but I would love, would love, love, love to do a song with Lil' Kim. Like, I love her. Since she got her start on Love & Hip Hop, when asked if Cardi would ever do a reality show with husband Offset, I feel like I will get canceled every day. <laughs> And finally, when Andy asked if criticism gets to Cardi, she had the best response. It does penetrate me, but then I get over it, because it's like, look at you, you're a bum. Let's talk about Maluma. He's the latest victim of people throwing things on stage, and he handled it like a pro. It's getting wild out here. Maluma had a crutch thrown at him on stage. Yep, you heard that right, a crutch. While on stage during his Don Juan World Tour, Maluma showed he's got a voice and reflexes when a fan threw their crutch on stage. The Latin singer effortlessly snatched the mobility aid out of the air before breaking into laughter. He then proceeded to use it as a prop to lean on and dance with. We're so happy it didn't hit and injure him, but you guys really have to stop throwing things on stage. Before we let you go, Renee Rapp stopped by to break down what's on her playlist. What's up, my name is Renee Rapp and this is my playlist. My road trip playlist would be a song called Colorado by a very cute blonde girl named Renee. Pretty hot song. It's all about exploring. Another song on there, actually, I, just the whole Golden Hour album by Casey. Um, is gonna be on there. And then Top of the World, for the Carpenters, would be on there. And so that is my road trip playlist. My shower playlist is as follows. One Plus One by Beyonce, Bootylicious, Destiny's Child, and In Love With Another Man by Jasmine Sullivan. My workout playlist is the straight gay icon, Charlie XCX. Right now it's Speed Drive. She's so hot and so cool and super talented. Anything Megan Thee Stallion, I love to work out too. Oh, probably anything Nicki Minaj. 
like Red Ruby the Sleeves, things like that, like Old Nikki, I think would be really nice. Also, depending on what kind of mood I'm in, I could work out to Taylor Swift. I run a mile to Enchanted. I'm going fast as fuck. So yeah, that's my playlist. That's today's show. Come back tomorrow to see which legend we have on the cover of Billboard. Plus, our recap of the VMAs, and stay locked into our socials to see all our interviews from the red carpet. I'm Rania Niftos, and this is Billboard News.